Hey folks, Scott Weaver from Factory Direct Window Treatments. Again, another segment on swags and javels, or at least swags. I've had several people uh, email me and wanting to know how many swags they should have on their board. Um, and that's, that's a good question, so I thought I would answer this. Um, uh, and the way you're going to do it is uh, like this. Okay, here's one swag. Obviously, one swag is going to go on a board if you have a single window that's 40, 48 inches, 50 inches. Um, after that, you're going to have to um, add extra swags. And you're going to do that by, um, when you're putting two swags together, or more, here's two swags, you're going to overlap them. So if you have two swags, you're going to have one overlap right here. If you have three swags, let me pull another swag out, as you can tell, now I have two overlaps and so on. If I put a fourth swag on there, that's a third overlap. So how do you determine that? Well, somebody said to me, well, I've got a 62-inch board. I want to put two swags, but I don't know what size to put on them. Well, there is kind of a magic number. It doesn't work for everything. But for every overlap, you want approximately 18 inches for that overlap. So it, knowing that, if you were to take your calculator and say, okay, I got a 62 inch board. So you can take 62 inches, you can have one, um, you can have one overlap onto that. So you take 62 plus 18 inches is 80 inches. And you can divide that by the number of swags, which is two. Divided by two, you have 40 inches. So again, I got a 62 inch board, that's my board, I'm going to have one overlap of 18 inches, doing the math again, 62 plus your 18 is 80 inches, that means I need two swags 40 inches wide. Now I've got a 62 inch board here, so this is my board, and I'll show you what that looks like, I'll try to get the whole board on here. You're going to take it like that and you're going to put this over like this. And this one comes over. Like so. Now you don't have to use that rule. You can, you can, you can do 16. You can do 14 inches. Um, but keep in mind that you want to have a nice overlap um, so this isn't this doesn't become too shallow in here but that's going to be important that's why I'm saying use roughly 18 inches as a, a guide now it doesn't always work out that way say you had a 60 inch uh, board and you're using three swags well at that point if you had a 60 inch board you'd want to make two 30 inch swags and then your third board, your third swag would go right over uh, the top on the center, which I'll show you that later too. But quickly, when I do this, I hold it up. That's what that would look like with a with an 18 inch overlap. And this is closed up in here. This gives you a good 10 inches. So if you're going up on your window like six inches, you're still not going to see your uh, your top of your window. Um, so that's that's the formula. And now we're going to hit another scenario using three swags in the same formula. Here is an 84 inch board. And I want to find out how much I'm going to use three swags. So what is the size of my, my swags have to be? Well, you got 84. Now you've got two overlaps because you're using three swags. So here's your three swags. And this one's going to be center dominant. So I got an 84 inch board plus one overlap is 18 inches. Then the second overlap would be another 18 sets, 36. 84 plus 36 is 120 divided by 3 and of course it's 40 inches. Uh, I'm using this 40 inches because these are the patterns that I've got. So let's see what that would look like. Uh, in this case you get the same thing. 
you're going to mount one swag on this end. And you go ahead and mount this swag here. And this one's just going to drape over the top. So basically what I'm saying is you're going to take your board size and you're going to add 18 inches for each overlap and you're always going to have one less overlap than you have swag. So if you've got two swags, you can have one overlap. If you've got three swags, you're going to have two overlaps. And that's what that's going to look like. And I like a deep overlap. Uh, it just makes it look richer. Now we're going to do one more scenario here. And I'm going to give my board size up to 106 inches and I'm going to use four swags to the 106. So let me take this board off. I don't have a 106 inch board right here, but I can kind of show you. So now, I'm going to put all these, let's see here, we got that one over this one, that one over this one, no, this one over like that. Kind of like in a waterfall display. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I've got a 106 inch board, 106 for the board. Now I've got one, two, three overlaps. So it's going to be 106 plus my 18 inches here, 18, 18, which is 54 plus my 54 is 160 inches and I'm going to divide it by my four swags divided by four again comes out to being a 40 inch wide swag once you know you have your 40 inch wide swag you can put your first one down you can bring your second one over to your um, your 106 inches and then you're going to overlap these by 18 inches each one is going to be 18 inches so then you take your tape measure and come over from this end over, measure your 18, come over here, put this at 18 inches, and 18, and that's pretty much so what it would look like, if you can see the whole thing, but it's a nice, it's a nice deep, nice rich uh, looking uh, valance. Uh, so there you have it, folks. Uh, that, that's how you're going to do it. Um, every every swag, you add about 18 inches for your overlap. And then you divide it by the number of swags that you have. So I hope this helps you. And if, um, if you get confused, just shoot me an email and I'll try to straighten you out. Thanks a lot. Scott Weaver, Factory Direct Window Treatments.